If you want to enjoy your boat next spring, you need to care for it over the winter. In tonight's Consumer Watch, TV6's Sophie Erber takes a look at what you can do once you take your boat out of the water. Over the years, boat models have changed, new motors are built, but if you live in the UP, one thing remains the same, the need to winterize your boat. Thad Bingham manages Bingham Boat Works in Marquette Township. And if anything is worth doing, it's worth doing right. That's been the Bingham Boat Works saying, and Bingham says that holds true to caring for your boat before the winter. There's things that you want to check, things that you have to change, like your oil. If it's a four-stroke, you have to change the oil. Um, you want to change the lower unit oil in, the, in it, um, where the prop is. Whether you choose to maintain your own boat or turn it over to professionals, your engine needs ample attention to survive the cold. In winterizing this engine, typically what we would do is run the engine. We put a muff on the bottom so that we can inject water into the engine. Shrink wrapping or using a tarp are great ways to keep the moisture out and prevent rust. If you do take your boat out for one last spin, experts recommend using a certain kind of oil that will winterize your boat without any extra effort. We do recommend to most people in small motors that you burn non-ethanol fuel. Using it will help your engine run efficiently and give it longevity. Other motor treatments can also be used to clean your boat from the inside out. Here we use seafoam primarily because it comes springtime when you run that engine, it cleans the carburetor as you're running it. No matter how harsh or mild this winter might be, you still need to take winterizing your boat seriously. If you spend the time and the money now, you will save yourself repairs and grief come springtime. Sophie Erber, TV6 News, Marquette.